Okay, here we are in Selma again, and uh, we're uh, working on the mural, putting in most of the detail, the highlights, lowlights, midtones, just so that it has a more uh, 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 expressive note to it. Um, I'm working on the the, the uh, sky right there where the schoolhouse is, um, putting in some different tones, whites, different kinds of whites, different kinds of aquas, and. Uh, uh, and those blues, those uh, thalo blues, kind of give way to the uh, the greenish greenish blue, gives way to the to the whites up there. I'm trying to keep them like clouds or the motion of air. It's getting a little Van Gogh-ish, but uh, I'll solve that problem as I get to it. Okay, here as you can see, all this uh, background work has been done, and well, it's still I'm still working on it. But you could see uh, how it really differentiates from the figure in the foreground and from the horses. It's kind of blurry. It's you get up close to it. The uh, it's pretty much a bunch of dots. Uh, I'm trying to join them together with uh, mid-tone dots and various other colors like greens and so on. So this is where I'm at, and uh, we're continuing with our or endeavor to complete this mural in uh, Selma. Okay, I'm sitting here uh, washing out my tools. It's important to keep your tools clean, especially when you're using water-based uh, paint because uh, it dries fast and once it sticks, it's hard to get off. You know, you have to use lacquer thinners or acetones or something else. To take it off. When water, if you just keep it clean right from the get-go, water, uh, water is sufficient to, uh, to clean it. Uh, we're at the end of the day. I did uh, most of the uh, background uh, ground, the, uh, the earth or the uh, yellow part in Ernie's uh, painting. So I'm sitting here cleaning a little bit. Cleaning away, cleaning away, you know, you gotta keep the tools clean. And uh, it's been pretty good all day today. It wasn't really that hot, but uh, it's kind of hard to survive on one chicken sandwich all day long.
Okay, we're here on uh, the... I think it's the 17th or 18th day or something like that. Could be the 19th, I don't know. Um, we're uh, accomplishing all our feats, and uh, I'll take a walk with you guys right over here. Uh, we worked on the grapes right up there. Um, in the hands and stuff. I worked a little bit more on the uh, grapevine, the leaves and stuff like that. You can see the little dotted patterns going on. Worked on the background and all the... Uh, areas in between the hats and the foreground uh, uh, valley floor. Also work this, uh, some of the horses, you see the horses right there, they got uh, mules. the mules, I'm sorry, the mules. <laughs> the mules, uh, they have a, a little reflection of the water. I'm thinking about doing a little reflection on the other side to sort of round them off. Um, I, it's called uh, backlighting and, and foreground lighting. And uh, I started the uh, rep to repair the, uh, the the scraper, the Fresno scraper, because it's um, it was wrong the way Ernie had depicted it, and uh, right down the street over here they have a real one, uh, one that that was made in that time. I don't know exactly what the date is that they made it, but it was sometime in the uh, 1800s, and uh, that's what they used to build the canals and to scrape up the floor and and plow a little bit to sort of soften the ground, I guess. Uh, you can see the background, I'm integrating the foreground with uh, the background, uh, eliminating the, f the middle ground. Um, and Francisco worked over here uh, along with the, uh, with the uh, train and the, the uh, Selma um, irrigator uh, newspaper. And uh, you can see that he put some... Um, put some uh, light tones in it to give it a sort of like a wrinkled a wrinkled look you know and the the color is is to depict like it's old it's an old paper basically it was a, it was a, one of the Selma's first newspapers ever written it was a democratic paper that um, that uh, you know everybody was was getting in order to be informed of what Selma what's going on in Selma um, worked a little bit on uh, various other things you know he put the the uh, blue in there and the purple line right there or the alizarin line not, I think it's napthal crimson actually to tell you the truth and uh, that's that's about it so here we are on uh, the 17th or 18th day and uh, we're still hammering away we're almost done